It's Wonderland Weekly with a very special intro here by Kermit the Frog! Yay! Was that alright? That was good? Alright. Well, thanks everybody and have a wonderful week! <laughs> Are you guys ready? Yes, awesome. Well, we are missing someone. Who are we missing? Do you guys know? Snoopy. You're right, we are missing Snoopy. Now, I think if all of us yell as loud as we can for Snoopy on the count of three, we might be able to find him. Ready, everyone? One, two, three. Awesome. Now it looks like we have our story. We have Snoopy. Once again, are you guys ready? Amazing. So we are going to start off by telling you a story about Snoopy's best Halloween ever. For Snoopy, Halloween meant candy, but it also meant dressing up. Snoopy wondered, what should he be for Halloween? I know, he thought. How about a wizard? Snoopy searched around the house for a magic wand, but he couldn't seem to find one. No, that won't work. How about something spooky, said Snoopy. Oh, that's a good idea, I know. Zombie Snoopy. Snoopy held out his arms like a zombie and stumbled across his room. Hmm, this is scary, but Snoopy said, no. Something scarier. I know, Vampire Snoopy. He picked his cape and threw it over his shoulders. In his best Dracula voice, he said, trick or treat, smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. Not too big, not too small, just the size of Vaughn Mills Mall. Snoopy still wasn't sure if he had the right costume yet. There were so many options to choose from. For the rest of the day, Snoopy tried to concentrate on having fun with Charlie Brown and Woodstock, but his mind was on Halloween. Every day for the rest of the week, Snoopy got ready. He carved crazy pumpkins. He hung sticky spider webs and ghosts all over the house. He even hung a sheet like a ghost to flutter in the wind. And he practiced. Trick or treat, smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. Not too big, not too small. Just the size of Montreal. At last, it was the night before Halloween, and all throughout the neighborhood, there were spooky sounds. Can everyone say, ooh. Creaking sounds. Can everyone say E? And there were scratching sounds. Everyone say Oh. Snoopy was scared. He shivered in his doghouse and imagined ghosts and goblins and witches and werewolves. I know, cried Snoopy as he bounced up and down with excitement. I'll be super Snoopy. Snoopy ran into his house to find his costume. He threw a cape on over his shoulders. Charlie Brown 
everyone and all of his friends thought he looked very cute. That night when the dark crept in and all the ghouls and ghosts and goblins came out to trick or treat, Super Snoopy made his way up to his first house. His costume was a hit. House after house, Snoopy got loads of candy, chocolates, and lollipops, and so much more. As he ended the night, Snoopy made his way home with all his treats and couldn't help but think about what he would wear next year. This was his best Halloween yet. The end. Amazing. Did everyone like that story? I think we have enough time for one more story. How does that sound? So before we get started, I'm going to need everyone's help for this story. Do you guys think you can help us out? Yeah. Awesome. So what I, got, what I want you guys to do is on the count of three, I want you to repeat after me and say, Have no fear, Super Snoopy is here. Ready? One, two, three. Have no fear, Super Snoopy is here. So when it's time for you guys to help, I'm going to do this. Let's practice. Ready? No fear, Super Snoopy is here. Amazing! Super Snoopy woke up super early to get ready for another super day. It was almost Halloween, and for Super Snoopy, that meant a lot of work. It seemed like every Halloween, everyone needed Super Snoopy's help to get their decorations up, find their costumes, and so much more. To prepare for the day, Snoopy began getting ready by doing some super stretches. First, Snoopy stood all the way up on his tippy toes and stretched high up to the sky with one hand extended forward just like he was flying. Can everyone show me how you fly? Amazing! Next, Snoopy ran on the spot showing off his super speed. Can everyone show me your super speed run on the spot? Run on the spot. Wow! Because you're so fast! Finally, Snoopy practiced all of his super poses so he would be ready to jump into action whenever needed. Show us your super poses. Oh, amazing. Once Snoopy was done getting ready, he set off into the neighborhood to see if anyone needed his help. In no time at all, Snoopy heard someone calling out, Someone help! I can't get my decorations all the way on the top of my house. Upon hearing that, Snoopy rushed into action. Snoopy saw a group of children looking up at their house sadly. Ready, everyone? Have no fear, Super Snoopy is here. Snoopy cried out before taking the decorations and flying high above the house, setting them down on the roof. Thank you, Super Snoopy, the group of children yelled happily. Snoopy beamed and flew away, happy to have helped. But before he got too far away, he heard again, Someone help! I left my Halloween costume at school! Snoopy flew to the ground and saw a child sitting on the steps of a house crying. Ready everyone? Have no fear, Super Snoopy is here! He ran as quickly as he could all the way to the school, through all the hallways, and into a classroom where he saw a scarecrow costume sitting on one of the chairs. He grabbed it and ran all the way back in under five seconds. Everyone say, ah. <laughs> Thank you, Super Snoopy, the girl exclaimed. Snoopy waved and ran off, again looking for any signs of trouble. Snoopy was surprised, but he kept running and running and running and running but no one seemed to need his help. Finally, Snoopy heard someone yelling, Snoopy! Snoopy! Snoopy stopped and looked around. In front of him, he saw his friend, Charlie Brown. There you are, Snoopy, Charlie exclaimed. Where have you been? It's almost time for our Halloween party. One last time, everyone. Have no fear, Super Snoopy is here. Snoopy posed heroically before heading off with Charlie Brown to the Halloween party where he had lots of fun bobbing for apples, eating lots of candy, and telling stories all about how he saved Halloween. The end. Amazing. Can everyone like those stories? Awesome. Can we get one more big round of applause for Super Snoopy? Amazing. This does conclude Spooky Tales with Snoopy. Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you had a great day here at Camp Spooky. Bye, everyone!
Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like the video, comment with anything you'd like me to cover in the future, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and support me on Patreon so that I can visit more parks and create more wonderful videos.